Folks, have you ever felt lost or separated from something? Usually we think of that in terms of things, but I'm talking about something that's more valuable. I remember when Jeremy was around seven or eight years old, he was at a sporting event, you know, like we have here today in a field like this, and he did his sporting event, it went really well, and at the end of it, I, I went over and talked to somebody. When I came back, uh, Deb was gone, I didn't see her, so I got in my car and left. And we met about 10 minutes later. And when I got out of the car and saw Deb, I went, where's Jeremy? And she said, well, I thought you had him. I said, well, no, I thought you had him. Boy, did we jump in that car and run back there and try to find him. Well, we did. A church member had him. He really wasn't lost. He really didn't feel separated. But we sure had that terrible feeling inside. Have you ever felt lost or separated from God? In our Ephesians reading today, it talks about the mystery of God, and that mystery is how can we be reunited with God because sin separates us from God. It's through Jesus. That's what's revealed in that lesson. Through what Jesus did for us on the cross, we are reunited with our Lord. And in that first reading, that re it talks about the, uh, the gift that Solomon had. He was asked by God, what, what one thing would you want? And Solomon wisely said, wisdom. God gave him that wisdom, and that's the wisdom that we can have too in knowing that Jesus is the one who reunites us with God. If you've ever fought lost from God before, it doesn't take something like this, which is an Apple AirTag, which they use in order to find you when something is lost. If I lose these keys, I can look on my phone and find them through this. Well, for us, it's the cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. That's our real wisdom in knowing that nothing separates us from his love.